Can you move? Yeah, there yeah, you I go. can move. Okay. All right. Well, now this is Golden Axe too. All right. I'm gonna, <laughs> now I'm gonna be this 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 girl here. Um, you can you can take your guesses as to why. I'm... <laughs> <laughs> Um, oh god damn it. Okay, don't, don't, do not hit the square button. I, I know that now. I didn't know it was going to be the same as Golden Axe 1. Alright, so we turned off Golden Axe 1. We were trying Golden Axe 1, but Tony accidentally quit, so now we're playing Golden Axe 2 instead. <laughs> Maybe Golden Axe 2 will be better anyway. Yeah. It looks better already. Yeah, the graphics look a little bit better. <laughs> <laughs> We're fighting them. These guys look like Vega. They got like the masks and the claws. Ah, get over here, wizard. Ooh, I got a, I got a, like a book. And did that come from like a Bruce Lee thing? What? The claws. Oh yeah, there was a, oh, what was it? You know what I'm talking about? No, no, I know exactly what you're talking about. I think it might be Enter the Dragon where there was a guy with like claws. One of those. Yeah. Because those fighting games were all kind of like, you know, ripping all that stuff. Like Mortal Kombat is very Enter the Dragon mm -hmm. and Bloodsport. Okay, I'm back on the dinosaur. <laughs> Imagine how many quarters we would have already spent. <laughs> Finish him! You sound like you've been eating too much cheese. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh, here we go. Oh no! Okay, I'm gonna use. Are oh, you using yours? I used it. Look at this dude. Oh wow, that bull man! He looks like the final bad guy in the movie Arena. <laughs> I re I reviewed that you, Arena. You did? I did. Yeah. I love Arena. <laughs> I love the cardboard audience member. <laughs> It's like, hey, maybe you should have made the, the lights a little bit darker so we wouldn't know that those are cardboard. Yeah, even though I was more of a, um, you know, more of a video game guy, I guess yeah. uh, we were doing Monster Madness and lots of movie reviews at the time. So yeah. I, tr I tried my hand at doing some movie reviews back when yeah. James did the movie. Basically, I was throwing shit at a fan trying to do anything because I yeah. was like, okay, well, James is gone for a year. Let me make anything, <laughs> literally anything and everything. <laughs> I'm no, like, Arena, I, don't, I, don't, I don't fucking know what to do. I'm just some <laughs> asshole, you know? I, I love the movie Arena. That movie's fun. That's like a movie I wouldn't mind like a remake for. Parrot. Look at that parrot lizard. No! Get me back on my parrot lizard. <laughs> yeah, a nice tail attack. Yeah. You can run now, too. Yeah. Like that. This guy had a bad day. Yeah. These guys could have been in my top 10 boners video. <laughs> I missed out. I'm gonna have to do a top yeah, top ten boners two. I should do that. Even more boners. <laughs> yeah, my potato looks at more boners. Gets a million views. <laughs> yeah. I also made top ten assholes, Tony. You did? I did top ten assholes. I missed that one. I saw boners. You know, I, I made I, back to back. I did those videos. Top ten assholes <laughs> and top ten boners. <laughs> top ten assholes was uh, like guys and games that are annoying, basically. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> I mean, I could have called it that, but don't you think that's a better title? I top ten. Yeah. Top ten characters in video games that are aggravating for you to fight. No, against. no, top ten assholes way better. Yeah, see. <laughs> By the way, skele skeletons are like the worst thing to fight. I mean, the. They're the worst like soldier you could have, because I feel like I feel like you can just break them apart pretty easily. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> well, the, the, fact that they're, the, the fact that they're together and moving around in the first place is pretty amazing, <laughs> since they have no muscles, so it makes yeah. no sense. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Raw. Die, 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 Ugh. You have Ray Harryhausen oh. to thank for that. Yeah. I love that movie, Chasing the Argonauts. Yeah, it's good. I like, there's a, there, there's a bunch of those movies. 
uh, mm. and, and, I, and Jason and I are Tiger or something, or Sinbad and the Eye of the Tiger. Yeah, I used to watch Sinbad movies when I was a kid. I, I haven't watched one in years. I still love Clash of the Titans, <laughs> the original Clash of the Titans. Yeah, I always think it's funny that Burgess Meredith is in that. <laughs> yeah. Clash of the Titans is more of like a homage to those Greek movies. Yeah. That new Clash of the Titans sucked. I didn't see it. I think it was bad. What the ah, ah. I don't the know. Sequel, the sequel wasn't too bad, Wrath of the Titans, but at that point, it's like, well, you already pissed me off, so I'm not going to see this one. <laughs> we're, get, we're getting further in this one, now that we know what buttons to push. Oh no, as soon as I say that, I hit the wrong goddamn button. <laughs> Good job, Tony. <laughs> See, this is like the problem. I've been playing more video games than I usually do. Right. Usually I play like one game at a time. But like lately I've been playing way more because I've had more time. <laughs> and like I'm constantly hitting like a button that's meant for another game. <laughs> yeah, when you play more games, you find yourself getting like tripped up with the controls. Yeah, I do that. Because I think jump in the original Tomb Raider is square if I'm right. So I just tried to jump, hit square, and I used the power move. Yeah. That's a purple dude. That's Ivan Ooze from, War from Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Ivan Ooze! I didn't know for years that Ivan Ooze was uh, Belloc from Indiana Jones. I had no idea. Yeah, when he died. Someone was like, oh, so-and-so died. I'm like, oh, he was also Ivan News. I'm like, I'm like, hold on. What the fuck? James <laughs> like has a whole thing about Baylock from, or Belloc from Indiana Jones. You should ask him about the cigar that comes out of the mouth. The cigar that comes out of the mouth? He, so he's the guy, there, there's a part in the movie where he takes out the, oh wait, actually, is he the guy with the white hat? Yeah, yeah, he's the French guy. Yeah, and then there's the, then there's the other guy. Um, I forget which one it is. I think it, I think it's uh, the uh, Belloc guy. He, at one point, he takes out a uh, like a hanger. Yeah. You, th you think it's like a weapon because? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh no, no, you're, that's uh, that's Toad. Toad, I think, has that. The German dude. Okay. Yeah. I was getting them confused. But anyway, ask James about that sometime because he'll tell you that that a cigar shoots out of his mouth. Okay. <laughs> I, I went on like an hour conversation about how it all it is is a shadow. And, yeah. And he he James like swears up and down that a cigar comes out of it out of his face. And I'm like <laughs> I'm like you know why you know why James that that <laughs> that it's not a cigar shooting out of his face because that can't happen. <laughs> because that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> <laughs> And he's like, no, but you see, it's a cigar coming out of it. I, I see what he's talking about. There's, there's a shadow yeah. that kind of looks like, it kind of looks like like the shadow of like something coming out of the guy's mouth. I, like, I get yeah. what he's saying, but I'm like, it's just a fucking shadow of the fucking hanger. Yeah. <laughs> and he swears up and down that a cigar yeah. Was he, <laughs> comes out of his face. It reminds me of the kids that swore that a munchkin hung himself in Wizard of Oz. And it, it's a, uh, it's a bird. Yeah, it's it's a, a bird stretching its wings and people have edited, they, people have gone and edited that footage to make it look like there is a guy hanging just because they want to hold on to that idea so I can, bad. I can understand that. Like in the old like VHS copies that were shit. Yeah, yeah, in like, VHS, yeah. Like I can see how it could look like that, but like once you see yeah. it on Blu-ray, it's like clearly a bird. Yeah, it's clearly like it's a, like an emu or something stretching his wings. And you see it earlier in the scene just walking around. Um, and then remember uh three ghosts uh three three men and the baby, the ghost and three men and the baby? I don't know that one. Oh yeah. Oh, okay. So uh, there's a scene where like Ted Danson's walking with like his mom or some older lady, and in the background you see a face hiding behind this curtain. And my friend, when I was younger, told me it was the son of the boy who lived in that house who killed himself. No, you know and who it is? Who? Leonard Nimoy. <laughs> no, I'll tell you who it is. Because he, he directed it's, that. Yeah, it's a cardboard cutout of Ted Danson that they show in a previous scene. And then it just got moved into the background of like whatever the next scene was. And people swear that it's the ghost of a boy. And, like, and then when I found out like what, cause like when I got older, I'm like, oh yeah, now that I'm older, I realized that ghosts aren't real. So what was that? And I, I looked into it. I'm like, oh yeah, it's the cutout from earlier in the movie. <laughs> 
There's so many like urban legends that people still want to hold on to. Yeah. And I'm like, why? What is the worst thing that happens if this turns out not to be true? Like you were wrong. And I'm like, okay, you were wrong. Like I, I thought there was a ghost in Three Men and the Baby. When it turned out it wasn't true, I was just like, ah, what do you know? And I went on with my life. How about this? There's no ghost in anything. Yeah, there's no ghost in anything. Well, you know, my, my I ever told you my 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 definitive proof. <laughs> I just accidentally <laughs> jumped into the fucking. <laughs> Did I ever tell you how I how I proved that ghosts aren't real? Ow. Okay, so people always talk about how ghosts are souls with unfinished business. But all you ever hear about being ghosts, we both died. I'm going to finish my ghost rant, though. All you ever hear about being ghosts are people and pets. You never hear about a ghost dinosaur. I'm pretty sure there were billions of dinosaurs that had unfinished business when the goddamn meteorite hit. Uh, I feel like we'd be seeing more ghost dinosaurs. You know, there's a lot of deer that get hit by cars. I'm pretty sure they had unfinished business. Why don't they business. do a paranormal, um, <laughs> a paranormal Jurassic Park movie? Exactly. No, but I'm saying every ghost you ever hear of is a person or a pet. It's never like a wild animal ghost. It's never the truth in the original yeah. cut of um, Jurassic Park that I saw. There was oh, right. In 1990. Yeah, it, it, it was. Uh, no, I saw it in uh, 86, 86 before it was written. OK, yeah. Well, that's what I'm saying. That, that's why nobody knows about it. <laughs> So that's that's Golden Axe uh, yeah. two. I, I think Golden Axe um, two seemed to be better than um, yeah. Two two was fun. Golden two was Axe fun. one, um, a, f a fun yeah. game. Um, so this collection has a whole bunch of stuff on it. So Tony, will, Tony and I will play more from uh, yeah. this collection. It'll give us a bunch of stuff to play in the future.